Shalom, shalom. We give all praises to Yahweh by Shemiah and Shah. We give double honors to the elders and apostles. A great millstone piece of shalom to the elect that's pushing out this word throughout the four corners of the globe. In truth and sincerity for the edification of the house of Dawa Da. It's your brother Shemar Ma from the DC camp. I uh, just wanted to bring out a couple of scriptures uh, as well as um, this article I read um, on the internet. Is uh, from CNN, and uh, the title uh, is Russia and U.S. Spar on Iran, North Korea, and Syria. It's a CNN article, um, and it talked about the U.N. Security Council meeting uh, that was supposed to be... Uh, a confidence building of nuclear proliferation and nuclear proliferation is supposed to be the um, how you would say is to uh, get rid of nuclear arms um, but it says however the session featured once again a big power showdown between Russia and the United States and all of this uh, is political is all of this is prophecy of the scripture of uh, how uh, lines are being drawn in the sand, uh, the hook in the jaws of, uh, of nations, pulling them back to the original state. Uh, I was reading another article on the internet when it was talking about how um, we have not been so close to World War III since uh, the Cold War uh, ended. And um, as you know, the uh, the the uh, the um, the uh, witching hour, or the, the clock, has struck to uh, two minutes to uh, to that hour. And uh, what you what you see is what you see is World War Three happening, um, where sides can't talk. There's no political uh, uh, diplomacy uh, because you know uh, Donald Trump. Uh, he did not fill any of the jobs uh, in the State Department for uh, diplomacy throughout the world. He didn't fill it out. He didn't fill those positions. And Rex Tillerson, which is the Secretary of State, uh, has, uh, you know, got his hands in his pockets. He ain't doing anything because uh, he's under the leadership of, of Trump, who's, who's not uh, one who would uh, talk or have diplomacy. Uh, so what you have is tensions throughout the world. And I want to continue on in this meeting. It says uh, uh, the, the uh, Russian security uh, foreign minister, uh, Sergei Lavrov, uh, and Ambassador Nikki Haley, the U.S. Ambassador Nikki Haley, scheduled to speak um, back to back in the council's chamber. Um, there were sharp exchanges between the two nations, but not between the two diplomats who have been among the loudest critic critics of each other's global p policies. Russia, for once, had the entire Security Council on its side with the issue of a nuclear deal with Iran. And if you go back uh, a couple months where uh, the joint uh, comprehensive uh, uh, Iran agreement where Iran had agreed um, to have a nuclear program which was not uh, uh, militarized. Uh, you know, they they always been complaining, you know, in history, they'd always been complaining that they can't uh, function as a country without nuclear power. Um, however, the United States always blocked that position, but Russians uh, were on Iran's side, of course, and, you know, throughout the uh, political world, throughout the... Uh, the tensions in in Syria and North Korea uh, with uh, Israel and uh, United States all in the region of Syria blaming each other, uh, confronting each other, and backing each other. And this is what uh, the Russians have taken sides with Iran and Syria. And the United States is taking, of course, the, the, the back for uh, and backing up uh, Israel, uh, the fake Israelis. We give uh, all praises to Yahweh by Shemri al Shah for these revelations because it's, it's just it just goes back to prophecy where uh, the lines, like I said, the lines being drawn in the sand, and just wanted to title this uh, this lesson "Lights, Camera, Action."
the stage is set. Um, and we know who the players are. Uh, we know that this is what, what you would call a theater of war, right? A theater of war. And when we look at these words, you know, uh, going back into uh, um, understanding uh, and the meanings of word, theater of war, we know what war is. War is nothing but destruction, right? Woe, anguish, people being put, in, uh, uh, put to death, blood, shed. But when we look at the word theater, when we look it up in the etymology uh, online, or etym, uh, the study of this word in truth, it says, uh, open air place in ancient times for viewing spectacles and plays. This is what a theater is, of course. Today we call it a movie house or, or a playhouse on Broadway. Um, it's, it's a French word, the, 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 uh, directly from the Latin theatrum, a playhouse, theater, a stage, spectators in a theater. In Spanish is teatro, teatro. Uh, from the Greek theatron, uh, this is where we get the word theater from. Uh, it says the people in the theater, a show, a spectacle, literally a place for viewing. And what we see on the world stage is uh, uh, all of the actors are in their place. There's no more dress rehearsal. What we see is the players are on stage and the curtains are ready to uh, uh, ready to open, where. Uh, um, Countries is going to be fighting against each other. And this is this the prophetic scriptures that we're going to get into because this is all prophecy. And we're just seeing it like we spectators watching this play go on and with the players in the world. We know it's all uh, um, uh, fake and, 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 and false, um, false uh, flags and false uh, 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 ideas that's being put out, propagandas about who's really on side because we have to remember that all the elites – all the leaders of these countries work for the Rothschilds, work for the uh, 13 banking families. So it's all the whole world's a stage. And that's what Shakespeare uh, said, that the, all the world's a stage. And this comes from his play. Uh, it's called As You Like It. Uh, this is Acts 2, scene 7 of William Shakespeare's play when he said all the world's a stage and all the men and women are merely players. They have their exit and their interests, and one man in his time plays many parts. His acts being age, uh, being seven ages. At first, he's an infant, right? Uh, mewling and puking in the nurse's arms. Then he's a whining schoolboy with his satchel and shining morning face, creeping like a snail unwillingly to school. Third, and then he's a lover. S citing the furnace with a woeful ballot made to his mistress' eyebrows, then a soldier, full of strange oaths and bearded like a pard, jealousy in honor, sudden and quick in quarrel, seeking the bubble reputation even in the cannon's mouth, and then the justice, in fair round belly with a good capon lined, his, arm, his eyes severe and beard of a formal cut, full of wise saws and modern instances, and so he plays his part. The six age shifts into a lean and slippered pantalon with spectacles on his nose, pouch on side, his youthful hose well saved, a world too wide for his struck shank, his shrunk shank, and his big manly voice turning again towards childish trouble, pipes, and whistles in his sounds. Last scene of all, the end this strange eventful history is second childlessness and mere obli oblivion. Sans teeth, sans eyes, sans taste, sans everything. And this is what the what the what the uh, the course of a man does. The course of a man goes through these steps in his life, and he's just a player in the whole world stage, and he's playing his part. And we're gonna we're gonna get some of the parts of the players that's in this play or in this uh, uh, theater of war. We know the Russians, we know the United States, and name the few, Israel. 
We name Syria, Egypt, right? We know those players. But what does the Bible say? Let's get to it. This is Psalms 83, and I'm going to start at 2. It says, For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. What well, a crafty counsel is these meetings, are these uh, security council meetings, these UN meetings, all these meetings that go through, uh, go on throughout the uh, throughout the earth, uh, Geneva and Switzerland and all these uh, different places uh, where Esau meets and his summits and his G8s and his G7s and, and all his councils, and what he has done. But really, like I said before, they all work for the elites. They, they, they're not fooling anyone with these uh, uh, back and forth bitter like like school children. Because remember, these are men already in their prime and they got a job to do. They're just players. See, uh, 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 Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai being the only begotten son already set these men up to be in a place. Everyone has a lot. Everyone has their place. Okay? And he has set them, or uh, they have set them up, Right? According to his will, um, that they do these type things, do they? They have these meetings, and they consult with each other behind closed doors, because really they really working for the elites. They they you, you may think that the United States is against Russia, is against against England, and all. No, no, they all working in cahoots. Really, like he says here, taking crafty counsel against thy people. And the people, the Lord's people, are the Israelites, the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans scattered throughout the whole uh, four corners of the globe. See, we know these things. See, we, we, we privy to the information, right, that is not given on these websites and on these uh, uh, telecasts and these uh, fake news uh, uh, um, networks, okay? Verse 4 says, they have said, come and let them cut, let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. To who? To the, to the rightful owners of that name, the Israelites, the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. It says, for they, talking about, um, talking about these nations, uh, it says, for they have consulted get together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom, the Edomites, the, 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 the tabernacles, meaning the, the house, right, where they dwell, the house, the houses of Edom, which is a so-called white man. No matter if you're Russian, British, uh, United uh, American, French, whatever you are, if you if you call a so-called white man, so-called Caucasian, you come from the house of Esau. See, the tabernacles of Esau and the Ishmaelites, the Ishmaelites are the Arabs. That's those uh, supposedly Syrians. With, with Assad and all them dudes over there, Hezbollah, all them dudes, they they working together. They working together to to be against the, the, the Israelites. Okay, this is their the whole agenda, really, to to uh, meet their expectations of a, of a new world order. This is their this is their plans. Okay, and of Moab, the Chinese. That's 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 who you would call uh, the Koreans. Right, and them Chinese over there, the Hagarines and the Africans, they're all working together. Gamal and Ammon, uh, 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 Ammon, those are the so-called Japanese, and you and you see what happened to their nuclear program. They said uh, the, the whole island of Japan is ready to to, to uh, just be abandoned, like Chernobyl, because uh, because of Fukushima. You see what happened to their nuclear program, and that's on the United States side because they uh, are a confederate with the United States. They're part of the Allies. Okay, it says an Amalek. Amalek is the so-called uh, Israelis, so-called Jews. This is the House of Amalek, and they they another ally uh, of the United States and Britain. Okay, they're on the Allied side. Uh, the Philistines, the Africans, uh, with the inhabitants of Tyre, right? Ashur also is joined with them, and they have hope in the children of Lot. This is what they have done. It says, Do unto them as unto the Midianites, as unto Sisera, and as to Jabon at the brook of Kishon, 
which purr for indoor, they became as dung for the earth. And this is what this is what's going to happen to those tabernacles. All those tabernacles uh, uh, dealing with this uh, nuclear proliferation, which is a fake nuclear proliferation, because if the world's going to be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction, how can you proliferate? <laughs> how can you get rid of uh, nuclear uh, weapons when the world's going with the world not 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 the whole world but I'm saying not country especially Babylon is going to be destroyed with nuclear uh, 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 destruction ICBM missiles so all that nuclear radiation is coming to the United States to destroy Babylon and throughout the whole world where it needs to where it needs to fly you see so how can you proliferate uh, nuclear uh, capabilities when uh, when the scriptures talk about uh, their destruction by their own weapons you see so you know so that's why we know is is all uh, uh, hocus pocus is all magic that they the information that they've given us but we know through the scriptures and through prophecy that these things is going to happen that they that they are a confederate with one another against the children of Israel and these are who these are true enemies. Let's get this next scripture. This is Joel. Joel three, start at one. For behold, in those days and the time that I should bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat is over there in the Middle East, and this is what the Lord said He's going to do. He's going to bring them all. To the valley of decision, to the valley of the, of the of the mountain of troops. This is where this is where it says he will plead with them for my people. You see, they hoping to be joined together in confederacy against the children of the Lord, against uh, Israel, which is the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans once again. But here, Lord said he's going to gather all nations and bring them down to the valley of decision. To Jehoshaphat, and I will plead for my people and for my heritage, Israel. This is who is Israel, not those Israelis over there calling themselves Israelis. They're not the children of Israel. They're the children of Esau and Amalek. They're the chief houses of Esau and Amalek. The scripture just told you in Psalms 83 who they are. It says, "For they have scattered among the na they for they have scattered among the nations and parted my land." And this is why you have those Israelis and, and, and Palestinians and Hassad and Damascus and Hezbollah and Haran and all those places over there in the Middle East uh, uh, being parted by these uh, fake foreigners, fake and fraud. They fake fraud and phony people. They're not the people, the children of Israel. Verse 3 says, and they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. And this is what they've done in the past. And this is what they plan on doing again, keeping our people in slavery. But the Lord said he's going to plead with all flesh in a valid decision. So when that thing go down and we see it going down, we see uh, tensions being, uh, 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 being uh, drawn. We see intentions against sides. They don't understand what they're doing because it's all prophecy. It's all according to the spirit of the Lord. How a great deliverance for his people is going to happen. With these people going down, which is really the network, which is the which is the whole head of, of, of the wicked. These are the heads of state, heads of the of the wicked of the mountains that's going to be cast down. Let's get this next scripture. Jeremiah. Jeremiah 49, and I'm going to start at, uh, start at 12. It says, For thus saith the Lord, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have surely drunken. That's the Israelites. We, we was not supposed to drink of the cup, and that cup, of the, that cup was slavery, uh, uh, death, torture, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, wicked uh, uh, breaking up families. Killing our people, destroying them, putting them on reservations, making them slaves for 400 years. We, we drank that cup because we went against the Lord's whole, uh, uh, holy uh, commandments and covenant that we made between him and us. Okay? It says, and art thou he that 
shall altogether go unpunished. Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. For I have sworn by myself, saith the Lord, that Basra shall become a desolation, and Basra is an ancient uh, high uh, 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 capital of Edom. It says, Basra shall become a desolation, a reproach, a waste, and a curse, and all the cities thereof shall be perpetual waste. This is talking about Esau's places. His chief places, wherever he may be, he may be in Russia, he may be in France, Germany, wherever Esau is, he's going to be a perpetual waste. Uh, and, and, and what he's going to receive is the curse, and the curse is those nuclear, the nuclear destruction, as well as the uh, so-called UFOs. This is, the, this is the curse that's going to go throughout the whole land, which is all of, all of the world. And we see this through prophecy. We understand this through prophecy. We've been taught this through prophecy. Okay? It says, Yea, I have heard a rumor from the Lord, an ambassador sent unto the heathen, saying, Gather ye together and come up against her and rise up to her in battle. This is, this is, this is the, the, the blowing of the trumpet. And we blow in the trumpet constantly, day after day, of video after video. Weekend after weekend, Saturday after Saturday, video after video, sit down after sit down. We're trying to tell our people to wake up. The, the sound of the trumpet is blowing. We are the sound of that, that blowing the trumpet. The word that, that, that comes out this book that the men of the Lord speak, right, is the trumpet sound. It's time to wake up and understand, right? The scriptures say, um, the title again of this lesson is lights camera action the stage is set come we give all praises to you how about shimmy i shall we give double honors to the elders and apostle great millstone peace and shalom to the elect that's pushing this word throughout the four corners of the globe to the waking to the reawakening of the the house of israel the elect throughout the four corners of the globe the house of dawada we say peace and shalom